Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to today's Grace Minute. Thank you guys for joining us today. I, I pray that this message encourage you uh, and just remind you of God's love. Today, we want to talk about uh, leaving the 99. And in, in this leaving the 99, I want to just remind you that God loves you and that we all have those seasons where you may feel like you're you're going so far uh opposite of the will of God for your life and so far you feel like you're straying away from him I want to just remind you that he loves you and that he's not going to let you go as easily as you think he will uh, because of his love for you and in Matthew chapter 18 verses 12 and 13 it says what do you think if a man has a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray does he not leave the 99 and go to the mountains to seek the one that is straying Verse 13, and if he should find it, assuredly, I say to you, he rejoices more over the, that sheep than over the 99 that did not go, that did not go astray. So he rejoices uh, even when we feel like we're in those seasons where we're, we're going the complete opposite of what God would have us to go. Uh, we can be encouraged because he's not going to let us go that easily. He's going to come after us, praise God. He's going to... He's going to make sure that we get back on track because he rejoices more over you coming back uh, than even those that have stayed with him uh, throughout their lives. He rejoices over the lost and finding them. Uh, I pray that this is encouraging and reminds you that God loves you and don't be moved by the season that you're in. Don't be moved by the things that are taking place in your life. Because God is not going to let you go. He, he, no man can snatch you out of his hand. Uh, he loves you. God bless you. And I pray that you have an amazing day. And thank you guys for joining us for another Grace Minute. We'll see you soon. Take care.